welcome back to Bomar Bow Hunting. On this episode, Josh and I are headed out west to hunt big, giant mule deer with Hidden Hills Outfitters in the Sand Hills of Nebraska. And this is super exciting for us because it is our first hunt of the fall. We have been practicing all summer long and we cannot wait to get our bows out and hopefully get some big, giant mule deer in the freezer. We got into camp, unloaded all of our gear, and went out to practice some long range shots. You know, hunting out west, you typically have to make longer shots than you would um, for example in Ohio where we live on whitetail so you can see we're practicing some great distances here I want to show you guys we are dialed in out here we're at 70 yards <clears throat> we're gonna shoot I've always wanted a mule deer in velvet, so my goal for this hunt was to get exactly that. And there is no better place on earth to do that than here in Nebraska with Jacob. We spent the first few mornings glassing, just looking from a distance, just trying to find that one specific buck that we wanted to target. We had several close encounters, however, we were not able to seal the deal until the fifth day where we caught a break. Oh my gosh, they're right here, dude. Do you see it? <laughs> Finally, after several days, we spotted him the big, mature, typical velvet mule deer that I've always wanted. Here, I can see the big one. He's right there. He's 120 at the exact moment. Oh my god, how are we gonna get out of the trail? Oh, slowly. You're gonna, we're gonna have to go this way. So, so like this has got to go the back. actually a little too close. They spotted us, got nervous, but not nervous enough to run away. So we're just gonna hang back, be patient, and wait for them to go over the top of the hill and out of sight. The wind's in our favor, so as soon as they do that, we're gonna sneak to the top of the hill and hopefully get right on top of them.
he's got shit. Play for it. Play for it. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, don't have to track him since he died uh, right over there, but. All right, let's go get him. So we obviously know the deer is dead, so we're gonna punch, punch my tag. Oh my goodness, I've wanted a velvet deer. <clears throat> so bad. <sighs> I got him. Mule deer in Nebraska with Hidden Hills Outfitters. Got it with my Hoyt. <sighs> he already started rubbing his velvet off. Oh my gosh. You cannot get over how incredible this deer is. It has been We've been coming here for this, I think this is our like fifth trip, and Josh got an amazing mule deer last year with Jacob at Hidden Hills Outfitters, and I've been, it's not bad luck when you don't get an animal, but it's definitely, it's definitely not the best situation, and so, but I'm so glad that my first mule deer ever is this incredible deer, full velvet, here in Nebraska. This is amazing, and it was an awesome stock. I mean, we... <laughs> We spotted him this morning and we thought we were going to get on him at like 15 yards. They spotted us, wised up, and then went around this hill and then we ran, around, ran right behind them and they had no idea that we were here. This was an absolutely amazing hunt and I am so excited. My first mule deer and he's incredible. I've always wanted a fuzzy animal and now I've got one. Thanks babe. No problem babe. Need a hand yet? Not yet. This sucks just walking up it. Trying to down it. I'll fall backwards. Yeah. Yeah, full velvety. Yeah. Full velveter. Oh, you punched him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 20 yard shot. Pretty cool. 20 yards. Wow. Yeah. Well, he went around like we spotted him and then they spotted us. They like went around this hill and we he's went the over hero. the hill. And he's like and peeking over. He's like, <laughs> he's like, it's 20 yards. <laughs> Nothing. That's awesome. He was awesome. Yeah. It's a long hike, huh? Fell on a bit. Yeah, it's a little sweaty. You ready? It's early September and it is hot. We need to get this deer caped, butchered, processed, and in the freezer as quickly as possible. So we get the deer back to the lodge, we get him skinned and caped, and we recruit everyone because we have a big deer to process and we have not a lot of time because it is warm. So we get our meat grinder, we get our vacuum sealer, we get everything out to get this deer in the freezer as quickly as possible. Nothing's going to waste. Every single ounce of this mule deer will be utilized and we get him in the freezer as quickly as possible and we cannot wait to cook this deer up for all of our future hunts. We are going to Montana in a few days for an elk hunt and we really wanted to obviously bring our own meat. So we have a deep freezer. I'm gonna be, hopefully this will be a lot fuller. I 
And now we get to eat deer. I cannot believe that this hunt came together. I was just so emotional when it all happened. This is my second year hunting mule deer in Nebraska, and this is my biggest buck to date. He's in full velvet. I got him with my bow. He fell on camera. It was just an incredible hunt to be able to experience that with my husband and Jacob. It's just incredible. I did get very emotional. Um, like I said, this was my second time here in Nebraska in my first mule deer. So just so much work went into it and so much effort went into getting this deer and to harvest him so successfully on camera, to have him fall on film, to just walk up to him and put my hands on that velvet rack was something that I will never forget. <laughs>